looks like Freely the Banana Girl. Okay. So, I shine like Morrissey on Hennessy on Christmas. Hi guys, it's me, Victoria, from my non-leather life. And I want to make this video about the fact that I completed 30 days raw, and today is the 30th day. Okay, I'm gonna say 99% raw, maybe 95 to 99% raw because I did cheat on potatoes a couple of times and some steamed vegetables. But I did give up grains, which I used to eat like a ton of grains, like rice and vegan sushi, like every night. So that was different for me. I wanted to see if that like made a difference for me or not. And yeah, I just tried, and I had many, many, many fully raw days in a row and stuff, so yeah. I'm really proud of myself, and it was quite a trip. Okay, and I don't mean that in the sense of a good trip. Like, it was rough. And... What was rough, you might not expect, because it wasn't really hard, like, resisting food. Or, like, you would think, oh, you're just having extreme cravings. And, yeah, I had cravings for, like, the first week or so. Maybe even two weeks. But after that, I didn't. But what was really rough was, basically, I became extremely emotional and stressed. I don't even know if I've been this stressed for like a long time and you're probably thinking that's not a good sign but maybe it is because I talked to my raw food coach about it and she was like yeah ever heard of a little something called detox you're emotionally detoxing and I was skeptical about detox especially like emotional detox for a while but what you said made a lot of sense to me, that like, you know, water fasting. Well, oh yeah, because um, I um, also was not tracking my calories this time around. Because when I first started raw, I did what um, Freely and Duran Rider told me to do, which was just use chronometer and make sure I got over 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. And I really think that was smart because I had a great time and I experienced like no craving, all this energy, and I was like on a mission to get my, you know, calories in. This time around I'm like, you know what, no, I'm just gonna listen to my body and eat when I'm hungry. It kind of backfired though because like you're not gonna want to eat 2,000 calories a day of raw food. Um, yeah. If you don't like try in the beginning. And also, um, cause like with, um, when you're working, when your, your goal is to get in 2,000 calories, like you make sure to eat a lot of high calorie fruit like early in the day, like bananas. But this time I was just like, oh, I'm gonna just eat this bag of oranges. I'm just gonna eat this pineapple. So I was eating all this juicy fruit, like oranges and pineapple, which are lower in calories to begin with, and so I just was eating a lot less. And also those fruits, like, cause kind of intense detox reactions. And I'll tell you what the detox reaction was for me. It was this swirling sensation. Like, it's really hard to explain, but it's kind of like, let's say you just panicked and you suddenly got like, it was almost like, you know, your vision kind of like got narrow. And it was like all this intense like stuff was just coming in at you. That's kind of the feeling I had. And it would kind of swirl and I would kind of almost get dizzy. So it was kind of like feeling drunk almost. That was like scary. And then sometimes I was just like, I can't deal with this. And that's when I would like cheat with the potatoes and then immediately I would feel better. Um, yeah, because like they said, I've heard people say potato slow detox or just any high calorie food or cup food, you know. Like raw fruits, they can make you detox really quickly. And it's funny because if you have seen my Banana Island video, 
when I did Banana Island, I started feeling this really weird feeling. It was the same feeling that I felt in this 30-day raw challenge. And um, I got really scared then because I was like, I don't know what this is. But it's the same thing. It's detox, supposedly. Like, it's the acids leaving your body or something. I don't even really know. I need to look more into that because it's like... Some people say it's like parasites dying off or like yeast dying off or something, I don't know, but I do believe that people have kind of like healing reactions when they start eating raw food. Anyway, that was really tough to deal with. It's like a scary feeling. And because of that, and also like because you don't you give up all your comfort foods. And now I kind of feel differently where I feel more accustomed to eating raw foods but like in the beginning whenever you feel stress like maybe because of the detox it's like you have this craving to just stop it and like end the, the pain it's not pain but it's like end the weird feeling and it's like this irritated agitated feeling and yeah so that was just really difficult to deal with that feeling a lot and I was under eating, so more detox and stuff. Anyway, a lot of stuff kind of came to a head because I felt more just emotional. Like a lot of stress and yeah. Anyway, the good thing was that I lost a lot of weight. Like I wanted to lose weight and I did. And, um, I really like it. Because, um, I never had, like, totally flat stomach, and that's just one thing I always wanted. Now it's kind of weird, because I can see, like, my body just... It just feels a way it never really felt before. Um, it's, like, harder. So, it's interesting. I like it. It's... The old way was good too, but this way is interesting, and I kind of want to keep going. I'll see what happens. But I can show you guys my body. Okay. It's like feeling the banana go. Okay. So you can see that it looks a lot flatter, and I would like to show my stomach because this was always like my problem area, like I always wanted like totally flat stomach and I mean this is as flat as it's ever been in my entire life so it's not like really the name of the but for me this is like pretty Hope you enjoyed that. So.